welcome to Clump, better known as Mission Beach. Welcome to the Cassowary Coast. If you're a uh, fan of the uh, Netflix series Irreverent, you might recognise this as the road into the little town of Clump. But it's actually the road into the town of Mission Beach. And tonight, I'm staying at the Mission Reef Resort. And we'll have a look and see how much the uh, fictional town of Clump resembles the actual town of Mission Beach. So this is the, well, you might not actually call it quaint part of Mission Beach, but it's certainly the most uh, quaint that you're going to get. And uh, this is the tourist centre. So let's head on a bit further up the road to the Mission Reef Resort. So here we are, heading to the Mission Reef Resort. If it looks to you like it's in the middle of suburbia, then that's what it looks like to me as well. It, uh, no view of the reef, and we'll see if it's actually a resort. Make sure we don't park on the grass. This is the luxurious Mission Reef Resort room. King size? I oh, don't know. It's another two twins. A little bit of a uh, <coughs> marble stand for the TV, air conditioning, fridge, microwave, spare blankets, some cutlery plates. Iron, kettle, toaster, bucket. Cupboards with luggage rack, dining uh, board and uh, drawing rack. A little bit of what could pass as art. A smell of bleach, which you can't make out on the camera, and a bathroom, a toilet, shower, and you think you're going to need all of that shampoo and conditioner, but at least that's very generous. So it's been uh, not quite a year since I last stayed here at the Mission Reef Resort, and I'm really going to have to be honest with you. Staying here in this resort was the thing that pushed me over the edge to make a YouTube channel called Shit Hotels of Australia. At the time, the only clothing I had was my corporate clothing, so I could hardly make a video lambasting a uh, uh, hotel uh, whilst clothing the, uh, the corporate gear of my company. Um, so, I've, as I said, I've waited almost a year, and uh, let's say it's great to be back. Not really. Um, it's quite a small pokey room as you can see, it's nowhere near the reef and it's not anywhere actually near Mission Beach. Um, the noise from the rooms next door is uh, it's pretty loud, you can already hear um, from next door through the wall here there was a child screaming before. Um, so let's just say I already know that this um, resort is not going to get the Better Than Homes bonus. I'm staying here for one night. Uh, checking out first thing this morning uh, and then heading further north to uh, Innisfail tomorrow night. And um, what you just heard then was the occupant of the room next door just having a normal telephone conversation. So you can see um, 
The walls here have ears, so I better keep my voice down. And now for the shit hotels of Australia, instant coffee test. I don't know why I keep doing this, but never mind. And tonight, here at the Mission Reef Resort, we've got Cafe Aurora. And I mean, actually, I had to double check to see that this was in fact one serve, because it looks like you probably need three to make a cup of coffee. Um, no uh, no uh, expiry date and instant coffee. I won't be drinking it. And now for the shit hotels of Australia fridge noise test. And here at uh, the Mission Reef Resort, Yep, you can hear this fridge, um, but as I'm going to have the earplugs in anyway because of the noise from the room next door, I don't think the noise of this fridge will be bothering me, and if it does, I can always turn it off. So let's have a quick look at some upkeep issues. Hmm. Classy. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, not the worst shit hotel I've stayed in, but let's just say, <clears throat> not brilliant, not for a resort. Mind you, the rack rate for the Mission Reef Resort is only $112, so it sort of fits into that shit hotel bracket than I would otherwise potentially purchase on my, out of my own pocket. <clears throat> but I guess the biggest thing about, uh, about, about this place, the biggest letdown that is, is, is the use of the term resort. At the very least, it has a pool. I mean, it's not a resort. Call it a motel, and then people would know what, what it is. Mission Reef Resort. It implies it's some sort of tropical paradise looking out over the majestic Great Barrier Reef. It's nothing of the sort. It's a fairly average shit motel in the middle of suburbia. So, um, and that's the letdown. I guess thinking back to that eight months ago, the first time I drove north to Mission Beach, I knew I was going to stay in the Mission Reef Resort. I thought, wow, this is going to be something. This is going to be really something. But um, in the end, it was as shit as the hotels that I normally book for myself. And that was the disappointment. And now for the uh, TV and Wi-Fi. And I've already um, logged into the Wi-Fi. It took a little bit of going. Um, I had to enter the password a couple of times. Uh, finally, it worked. Uh, and let's see how we go with uh, watching something on Netflix. So, here we go. And let's try the recruit. Oh, oh, this is not looking good. It does say the use of Wi-Fi is free of charge and works best poolside or outside reception. Uh, I don't think I'm going to hang around um, reception to watch Netflix and it can't connect. Oh well, let's try the TV. Okay, we have free to air and pretty much all free to air channels. So, so that's good. And also when I turn the TV on for the first time, I've noticed that the TV does actually have a built-in DVD player. So if I'd brought some DVDs, I could have actually watched one. But looks like uh, free to air TV or reading a book tonight, um, unless I hang around reception in the rain to watch Netflix. One thing that struck me the last time I stayed here at the Mission Reef Resort was this guest information book where it says, the owners of apartment 11 and 11A welcome you to the Mission Beach Resort. Mission Reef Resort, and trust you enjoy a pleasant stay here in beautiful Mission Beach. Well, not actually in Mission Beach. For your convenience, they've provided a starter pack of they've provided a starter pack of tea, coffee, sugar, and milk. That's excellent. Along with toilet paper, shampoo, and conditioner. How generous of them to provide me with toilet paper. Oh, 
Further supplies can be obtained locally here at the Woolworth supermarket in Wongling Beach. So that means if you use up the toilet paper, you're on your own. Got to nip down to Woolies to buy some more. Resort managers live on site. So it's almost like it's uh, not, not our fault, but it's their fault. It's the owner's fault. So I don't know how this works, whether individual units are owned separately or and managed by the resort managers. I mean, it's all the fault of the uh, the owners if you run out of toilet paper and Woolworths happens to be closed, but never mind. One of the uh, slightly endearing things about staying here at the uh, Mission Reef Resort tonight is that uh, I can listen to the chat from the uh, French family in the uh, room next door and I can pretend in, I'm in a different uh, tropical environment, maybe Nouvelle Caledonie rather than here in this shit hotel in Mission Beach, Australia. Why? Why would they want to stay here when they could enjoy this the wonderful, wonderful place that is Nouvelle Caledonie. Do you remember in the uh, video on the uh, motel in uh, Toowoomba, um, the Comfort Inn, who, Comfort, Comfort Inn Glenfield, I was just about to think, I'd forgotten it. I remember how I commented that it was uh, really refreshing that the rooms were serviced after every night. Well, here at the Mission Reef Resort, you're lucky if you get it every week. Because it says here, please note, rooms are not serviced daily. For guests staying seven days or longer, rooms are serviced once per week. I mean, you got to stay here for seven days before the room is serviced. Some people wash their towels more often than that at home. I mean, at least I even wash my stuff every seven days. Come on, that's not service, that's just lip service. Fan noise. Wow. Yep. Shit hotels in Queensland love their fans. Yep. The serenity. I expect something more interesting than that. That is Torquay, madam. No, it's not good enough. <laughs> well, may I ask what you were expecting to see out of a Torquay hotel bedroom window? <laughs> Sydney Opera House, perhaps? This is a new section entitled Faulty Comments. And it's not so much the comments from the customers, but the responses from the management. So we'll start with the comments from the Booking.com page for Mission Reef Resort. Deb reviewed the resort in 20, the 23rd of May, 2022. Very poor. The manager was straight from the Basil Fawlty School of Customer Mess Management and should never have been let loose to confront, confront the general public. He was probably the rudest manager we ever met. Never again and certainly can't recommend. And the response from Mission Reef Resort Management. Thanks for putting in a review, Deb, as it gives us an opportunity to answer your complaint. Unfortunately, you failed to mention the excellent customer service you received when he attended your room fixing your TV remote and also pointing out all of the restaurants and places to visit in the area. So it's the managers to, to determine whether the customer service is excellent. Okay, anyway, I digress. We were able to secure an electrician the following morning to check out the solar hot water system at your request late on the Friday evening and at no stage did Mark suggest to you that you had to tough it out with cold water. The electrician also found you to be quite difficult when you confronted him the following morning. We did ask you to leave the property two days earlier than your booking and provided a re refund for those two nights as your phone manner was quite rude and completely unnecessary as Mark was making all effort to rectify your numerous complaints. As you can see by many of our other reviewers, our good customer service is well documented, but in your case there was nothing we could do to make you happy. Best of luck in your travels. Well, thanks, Basil. 
Okay, so um, a bit further down, uh, we've got Angelina, 22nd of September, 2021. Very poor, not anywhere near the beach and way too far from food. Hi, Angelina. I think you're reviewing the wrong property as we're only 200 metres from the beach and we have a Thai restaurant around the corner and a pub two blocks away directly behind a Woolworth supermarket. We're also only seven kilometres from Mission Beach Village and takeaway delivery options are also available to the resort. So there's many other food options available. They're, they're, only, what? they're, they're only seven kilometres away from the resort from the restaurants and the pub is two blocks away. Well, two blocks, I don't think so. It's at least one and a half k's. And if you are traveling without a car, that is a very long way to walk. Thanks, Basil. And uh, we'll see what happens next time. So now it comes to the pirate score. Drink up me hearty Joe. -oh. And we'll see how the Mission Reef Resort goes. So firstly, cleanliness and upkeep. Well, it was clean, you could smell the bleach, um, but it was pretty tired, pretty tired and run down. A um, few sort of damp patches, the bathroom was a little bit grotty, not quite mould, but not the brilliant. So cleanliness and upkeep, two stars. Facilities. Well, it had the basics for, for catering in terms of plates, knives, forks, wine glasses, etc. But nothing really to cook, no real space. I mean, it has a microwave, but yeah really um, and again for a resort nothing special so two stars add-ons well let's just think about the last resort that I stayed at the Angauri resort which had a restaurant a health spa a gym a kids playground area a laundry a sports room you name it it had it all and a pool, two pools, and those ponds. What has this one got? A pool, that's it. It's six kilometers away from the restaurant area. It has no, no catering, it has nothing. So for a resort and add-ons, no, nah, it's barely one star. Entertainment and Wi-Fi. Well, Wi-Fi. If you want to hang around reception or by the pool, you could watch Netflix. But you certainly can't watch it in this room. And the last time I stayed, which was right next to reception, there was a real struggle there as well. So no Wi-Fi. Uh, and the TV had free-to-air channels. Um, it had DVDs. And I went to look at the collection of DVDs. They do have a collection of DVDs. But um, there are probably a thousand DVDs. It looks like they've been to your $2 shop and uh, all those DVDs are always on special there that uh, you've never actually heard of. Um, and the ones that I had heard of, I'd already watched. So entertainment and Wi-Fi, one star. Bed and bath. Um, the bed was okay. Uh, as I said, nothing special. Um, the bathroom, yep, shower was roomy separate basin, had a plug, which is good. There's plenty of um, shampoo and conditioner. Not sure about the sign to go and buy your own toilet paper if you run out. Um, so the bathroom was adequate. Uh, the fan was uh, the second noisiest fan that I've encountered so far. So bed and bath, three stars. And now <clears throat> the one you've been waiting for, the was it better than homes bonus. Well, one bonus was there's no traffic noise. And that's about it. The noise from the fridge, the noise from the fan, the noise from the guy in the room next door, the noise from the kids in the room above, the noise from the room on the other side, uh, the clanking in the, uh, in the foyer area here, uh, which you can probably hear over the top of this video, and the kids chatting and screaming. I mean, no, it's not better than home, and it's earplugs time all the way. I don't include the category of service in the pirate score, um, but perhaps I should, because um, this place, the Mission Reef Resort, is uh, severely lacking in that concept of what you call service. From the beginning where it says the owners of apartment 11 are pleased to provide you with uh, 
shampoo and toiletries and toilet paper as opposed to the actual managers to when you check in your key is stuck to the, the side of reception and no one's actually there to greet you although this time someone actually just happened to be there and to the fact that um, the rooms are serviced once every seven days I mean how many people would be even staying here for more than seven days I mean service is something that you expect in a hotel not something that you should be pleased to actually get maybe once a week so if I had included service in the pirate score I'm guessing that the Mission Reef Resort would be getting zero stars so that's a total for the Mission Reef Resort of 9 out of 25 and I'm actually pleased that I was I had the chance to come and stay here again because this is the third time I visited uh, Mission Beach uh, for work and last time the Mission Beach Reef Resort was booked out and I had to stay at the Tully Motel which I can tell you again I hadn't started making the channel then but the Tully Motel for a motel on the side of the Bruce Highway was absolutely streets highways ahead of the Mission Reef Resort so thanks for watching if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel um, and uh, again we'll be having another one uh, not too far away we'll be staying in Innisfail and following that in Townsville so stay tuned for adventures from another shit hotel of Australia thanks for watching one of the uh, recurring scenes in the Netflix show Irreverent is uh, his father Mac um, climbing to the top of a tower to try and get uh, phone reception here in the town of Clump. Well that's not far from the truth because uh, I've basically got one bar of reception and it's pretty much the same right throughout Mission Beach which means that uh, when you have no Wi-Fi in the uh, Mission Beach resort and barely a bar of reception of, uh, of phone coverage then um, you really are the back of beyond.